Okay, so the next stanza, the black man's face bespoke revenge as the fire passed from his sight. For all he saw in a stick of wood was a chance to spite the white. Okay, so the meanings. The word bespoke here means showed signs of. Revenge means to inflict injury in return. Spite in the last line means a desire to harm another person, especially because you feel that you have been treated wrongly. Okay, so the first line, the black man's face bespoke revenge. So the next person we see is the black man whose face bespoke or showed signs of revenge. Revenge, why? Because he has been treated wrongly or he was the victim of racism, you can say. Okay, next line, as the fire passed from his sight. So in the very next line, the black man seems to have realized the fact that the fire is in need of logs and it is going to die soon. Okay, but... In the next line you can say, for all he saw in his stick of wood was a chance to spite the white. Okay, but his feeling of revenge, okay, revenge in his heart, the in, okay, for the injustice that has been done to him by the whites or the white people, you can say, prevents him from giving his stick to keep the fire going. Okay, the kind of injustice act we can relate to the to the scene in the second stanza okay where we saw how the white lady withheld her log from the fire only because she did not want it to benefit a black man who was also sitting there with his log okay so with the last line uh, was a chance to spite the white okay we see that instead of giving his log in the fire the black man instead sees this as a chance to spite that is to harm the white who had done injustice to him simply because of his color okay so it seems that you know in a way the black man has accepted his um accepted his doom or accepted uh the fact that you know the fire is going to die and with his doom he also want uh the white to suffer so we can see here how the feeling of revenge of a black person even surpassed his own survival instinct okay okay so the next stanza the last man of this forlorn group did not accept for gain giving only to those who gave was how he played the game okay so the meanings the first uh, word that is forlorn means sad and lonely and not in the second line means nothing okay another thing to be noted here is the usage of the literary device that is um, oxymoron in the first line itself as you can see the forlorn group which has been underlined and i hope you know what uh, is what is it as i had discussed about it in the beginning of the video that oxymoron it is a figure of speech in which contradictory words or terms are put together okay like here forlorn group forlorn means lonely and group means where you are uh, where you are more than one people okay so group when you are in group you are not supposed to be lonely like i had told you before okay and another thing so here at last that we see in the poem is we see the poet describing the six humans as forlorn group that is lonely or hopeless group okay because until now as i had told you all in the beginning that the poet wants the readers to draw the conclusion for each one's character as he portrays in each stanza the poet wanted the readers to observe each individual and derive their own conclusion okay but we finally see that the poet is finally giving his um, finally describing the group or saying the six humans as group and what kind of group hopeless group okay so the last man of this forlorn group did not accept for game giving only to those who gave was how he played the game so the last man was also no exception here as he also avoided giving his stick or log of wood because none of the others before him or uh, who was there with him had given theirs Okay. He was also selfish as he was a man who gave something to others or something to those only who gave him something back in return. 
because as it is said in the last line that was how he played the game that means the last man also did not give his log instead played a final move to lose the game of life okay okay so the final stanza the logs held tight in death still hands was a proof of human sin they did not die from the cold without they died from the cold within okay so ultimately we see that that the entire group perishes in the end all holding their fire sticks they fail to be of use to each other due to their inherent prejudices they refuse to acknowledge each other's humanity and in doing so they die despite having the resources to keep themselves alive okay so as you can see here in the first line the word death has been personified okay and personification like i told you before is a figure of speech where inanimate objects or abstract ideas are given the qualities of human beings okay likewise here death has been personified with still hands hands like human beings as every man refused to act and save the entire group and themselves you can say each individual became their own agent of death okay and second line was a proof of human sin and the human sin here in the second line is the selfishness of the human race the logs in their hands are the proof of human sin sin that they committed by being selfish selfish by not giving their log of wood to keep the fire burning and not just saving others but own self okay you can see here how they chose and accepted their death holding the logs tight in their hands the final lines underlines the irony here like they did not die from the cold without they died from the cold within meaning it was not the cold weather outside that really killed the humans those humans but the cold hatred and prejudice they had in their hearts that is the cold within so that was all about the poem the cold within with the theme of futility of discrimination and lack of warmth in human relations okay futility of discrimination as we see in the poem the discrimination which was based on race class and religion shown by the characters or six individuals in the poem the discrimination hatred prejudices against one another proved futile as none of the six people stayed alive by the end each perished not because of the cold outside but the cold heartedness within each okay and the lack of warmth in human relations we saw, we see that each of the six human human was overtaken by the feelings of revenge spite and anger to such an extent that eventually their prejudices led to their downfall okay and each of them has had a log of wood that could have been put to use not only for others but also for themselves but they did not do so thus by the end each of them died from the cold within because outside cold could have been taken care of only if they were not cold from within okay so at last we see that the logs of wood are a metaphor for sin they represent the prejudice of each of the six human okay and here the fire represents love and common good and the cold within is a metaphor for lack of warmth in our hearts so they must let go of their sticks of prejudice that is their attitude of revenge envy hate anger greed and let it burn in the fire of love and fellow feeling if they are to ward off the cold and keep the fire of life burning okay so symbolically it gives us a message that if we do not overcome our prejudices and carry on with our sins that is the attitude of envy revenge greed class or caste barriers self interest then everyone is bound to suffer at last okay so this is 
all about the poem Gold Within, The Gold Within by James Patrick Kinney.